Hello and welcome to another Kerbal Career Series where we're exploring space with the science and all the restrictions that are put on us by the game. So we're not playing this uh, in sandbox mode anymore, we are now playing it in how it's supposed to or how it's starting to go into a gameplay direction. So last time we unlocked some more on our uh, science tree and we now can next time choose between uh, new engines, separatron, liquid f or solid fuel boosters, some aerodynamics and some landing stuff. But we still just have two signs so let's build our next rocket and take that into... Let's see, let's take it to orbit today. Or first space. I don't know if we can get it into orbit but we'll try. So... We got last time a separatron, so we can put that under here, and we got some uh, mystery goo, which uh, I'm just gonna put two of them to stabilize it, even though I don't think we need to. I'm still not gonna put an antenna on it, I don't see the use for it, and uh, yeah, let's just build a launch stage uh, with. Uh, we don't have a decoupler for the side here, but I think, yeah, we can just do like this. And this should uh, bring us up into space, I hope. And that looks alright, so let's go for a launch. We still don't have any uh, space uh, docking... Oops, forgot to press uh, launch. We still don't have any um, clamps to hold it on the launch pad so hopefully it won't uh, explode and fall over on the launch pad uh, okay let's see loading loading complete so this has three pretty powerful engines so I don't think we need to fly that hard on the throttle but we'll start with 100% until we get to 100 meters per second and I'm going to throttle down to save some fuel because we want this to go into orbit and maybe do an IVA. I think you're supposed to get extra points for doing IVAs and exploring different things. And that's one of the things I've really been looking forward to is seeing how the development team has made IVAs more and more uh, exciting or yet yeah, more useful because so far there is, hasn't been a reason to go out of your command module but uh, I read that you're supposed to be able to pick up objects or uh, yeah, do stif different stuff and they are just going to add more and more so I hope uh, really they do a lot with the IVA I think that's uh, they have a golden opportunity there to get a lot of uh, gameplay on the moon or anything picking up rocks or digging in the dirt or, yeah anything like that kind of strange saying to some look I'm going to explain this game I would really love. You fly a rocket to the moon and you pick up rocks and you fly them back. It doesn't sound that exciting until you actually go and play it. So I guess it's kind of like Doctor Who. It's pretty hard to explain unless you actually seen it. Like Doctor Who, it's uh, a man. He travels back and forth in space, uh, space and time, and he picks up these uh, girls to help him on the way. Yeah, sure. That doesn't sound weird at all. No. Okay, so let's see how is our orbit going. We are pushing it nicely. So we can start pushing over and get our sideways velocity to get uh, maybe get a hope of getting into orbit. I actually think this rocket will be able to get into orbit. Let's see. So yeah, last stage and let's just push over to the side and a hundred and oh, that's not a good curve, but we'll go for that. A hundred kilometers is high enough. So you have the mystery goo that we added, and we still have a crew report. And I think oh, we still have Jebediah. We should change him for the next mission because he can't do every mission. I know Jebediah is crazy and uh, has a lot of courage and everything, but uh, oh, I thought his courage was supposed to be maxed out. Well, well. Uh, but he will get tired too. Not of flying in space, but uh, to command this module and do the science stuff. 
So we're getting to our app waps and we're doing our circularization burn. I'm just going to watch the fuel level so we don't uh, burn out all our fuel. That would be bad. That would be stupid if we lost all our fuel. So it looks like we're going to make an orbit actually. There we are. Complete full orbit. And let's deploy our mystery goo object and see what we get from that. So we get 10 science units and it seemed to crumple into a square and appears to have become brittle. Well, sounds uh, okay, <laughs> I guess. Uh, we still have a lot of fuel, so let's just push our app apps higher and see if we can get some uh, more points for going further out. Because I see while in near curb in space, and I'm thinking maybe if we go farther away, we might get some more. And we have one more science unit to deploy. So let's try that out. Okay, approaching AppWaps. Having a bit of a lag, but there it goes. I think the game is really stable uh, after this update. Uh, it might have been some bugs I overlooked, but everything seems to have gone pretty smooth so far. So yeah, still 10 units, but we got for being high over Kerbin instead. So let's keep those data. Get a crew report. Uh, crew reporting in from space, five units, high over uh, Kerbin. And let's do an IVA and just take a look. This game is really beautiful. It keeps amazing me so many times. It really gives you some perspective of the beauty of space. Looking at Kerbin with the sun just folding around, the lens glare, the sun on his helmet with the rocket. It really, it's, it's, it's a good looking game. I know this isn't the best scene, but really it's a good looking game. So yeah, we have an IV report, apparently. So reporting in while, absurd, yeah. I know uh, they said they were going to do more with the text that's in the box in uh, the future. So I think this, this game is under heavy development still. And I think it's great what they keep pushing out with, uh, I really feel that it's not that long between each update. I know people are always um, screaming for more updates, but I think the team is really good at pushing out updates when they feel it's ready and the game is usually stable when they do it. It's been really, I think they're doing a great job. But we are approaching our app apps and I think it's time to do a retro burn and bring this back to Kerbin. And we want to save some fuel because uh, last time we lost a lot of our vessel. Okay, I hope the, uh, that Kerbin will uh, turn around so we will land in the ocean somewhere. Should, let's see. I don't know. How long is an orbit? Maybe we'll do a little bit more retrograde to be on the safe side. Turn off time warp. There there we go. Yes, last time we lost half the rocket when landing and it didn't matter because... Um, oh man, we're still going to hit land. Okay, so I overdid it, but it looks like we just might have a landing spot here in the ocean. Or it's going to be a tricky landing. But I keep, keep interrupting myself, um, because I think if you destroy the science unit, uh, you won't get the same amount of data as if you collected them. That's just a guess from my side, but I would think so. We will learn if I crash now, which is a big possibility. I don't know if we're going to travel all the way over there. If we had... Um, had firm airspace, you could control your flight a little bit more, but I don't think yeah, the drag model is that good now in the game that it works. No, we are going to land somewhere on the ground. So hopefully we will survive. Just going to wait to deploy the chute a bit more. It's going it's such a long way down, so it gets so boring if you just uh, deploy the chute early and have to watch it all the way down to the ground. But yeah, we are exploring Kerbin with uh, Mystery Goo and uh, 
Jebediah, and it's it's great so far. I haven't seen any uh, money so far, like currency that you have to use to build your rockets, but I see they focused more uh, and put more emphasis on cost in the science tree, so I hope, or I think, oh, I know that it's coming in the future, but I think it's pretty soon that they will put in some cost model, but I guess they want to see how the science tree turns out so far. Uh, that I, they said they didn't want to make it impossible for people to play, but make it a little bit more challenging. I guess it's the right term. So yeah, that will be interesting. So there's the ground, and we're trying not to hit that at 10 meters per second, because I think a lot of our rocket will get destroyed if we do. Oh, oh, oh. Turn, turn, turn. Don't land on the canisters. Yes, we save the canisters. And yeah, we collect our science. Let's see how much science we collected on this one mission. I guess so. We, sh we were uh, saving for 15 and oh, we got 45. That's, that's <laughs> a lot more than 15, I guess you can say. So yeah. Getting the science and let's buy some equipment with that. Uh, I don't need that engine yet, I think, but I would like the decoupler and uh, we're not going to the moon yet. So I think we're going to start with the decoupler and uh, then we get some more decouplers and the launch stabilizer. Let's see. Yeah, so nothing interesting there right now. And uh, we still have 27 science to use. So I guess uh, the next thing to do would be... Uh, yeah. The next mission should be a flyby of the moon. So we're buying this. So we can do a flyby of the moon. So science is at 7 again. And that's all for this episode. Thank you guys for watching and hope you enjoyed this new series and see you guys next time.